Hello everyone! As we all know, most of the key characters from the Harry Potter series reunited recently for HBO Max's 20th anniversary special, Return to Hogwarts, with one noteworthy exception, and we all know who that is. So in order to solve this mystery and all of your speculations, we created this video which will answer all of your questions regarding why the famous J.K. Rowling did not attend such a significant event, what was the reason behind it, and what did the rest of the team think? So let's get started. She appeared in the show, but… While certain actors like Coltrane mentioning Rowling in their interviews, Rowling herself is only seen in previously recorded video snippets. Yes, Rowling does appear in the event, which features video from previous interviews with her, despite her absence from HBO's marketing push. Rowling's old footage from 2019 was utilized by the creators of Return to Hogwarts, and the footage wasn't even noteworthy. Rowling's old clips were barely aired for around 30 seconds of the over two hour long show. What must a major character in one of the most popular shows have done to earn such scorn? Former child stars Daniel Radcliffe, Emma Watson, and Rupert Grint rejoin with Robbie Coltrane, Helena Bonham Carter, Jason Isaacs, Gary Oldman, and Ralph Fiennes in the special. J.K. Rowling, the creator and author of the hugely successful Harry Potter books, did not attend the reunion or sit down for a new interview to reflect on adapting the eight films based on the books. There hasn't been a single teaser, trailer, or poster for Harry Potter author J.K. Rowling, who has been under criticism in recent years for consistently voicing anti-transgender sentiments, leading up to the highly anticipated show which broadcast on HBO Max on New Year's Day. According to an HBO representative, Rowling was offered to record a fresh interview, but the producers decided that the already recorded video was sufficient. HBO did not answer questions about whether Rowling refused the interview or shot a new one that the producers later opted to exclude from the show. Rowling was invited to participate, but her team decided that the archived remarks from the author were sufficient. Rowling's anti-trans sentiments and the accompanying controversy according to individuals close to the issue had no effect on the team's decision. What exactly is the point of it all? J.K. Rowling is always working on new projects, so it's probable that she wasn't able to attend the Harry Potter reunion due to her schedule. However, there might be other, more significant reasons why the founder of the Wizarding World isn't on the Harry Potter reunion guest list, and they all revolve around her controversial views. After making news in 2020 with various posts online expressing sentiments on the transgender community that confounded sex with gender and promoted theories stating that altering one's biological sex affects one's own gender identity, Rowling continues to be a subject of controversy. Even when the posts were widely criticized as transphobic, misleading, and harmful, she has stuck to her guns. Given the sensitivity and complexity of this issue, it wasn't even shocking that Warner and HBO Max consciously avoided additional reaction and the chance of having their Harry Potter reunion overshadowed by the Rowling scandal by doing something as easy as not inviting her. Critics' response to her absence The media was going crazy over her absence. Times quoted her absence as a charming, if at times saccharine reunion, but it was missing a key ingredient that is Rowling. Similarly, Telegraph rated the reunion two stars while stating, where's J.K. Rowling when we need her the most? Carol Midgley of Times gave a rather positive review of the reunion and beautifully drew attention to Rowling's absence. She wrote, the fact that Rowling isn't sitting there in the Gryffindor common room or walking down Diagon Alley with the actors who were children at the time, acknowledging what their careers owe to her, seems like a strange and key omission. She further stated, It's like the younger royals having a celebrity Buckingham Palace knees up and not inviting the Queen. What the cast had to say about it Rowling is also mentioned by Harry Potter producers and cast members throughout the film, some of whom who have previously spoken out against Rowling's transphobic views. Daniel Radcliffe as Harry Potter, Rupert Grint as Ron Weasley, and Emma Watson as Hermione Granger are among the cast members who have issued statements in favor of the trans community in response to Rowling's remarks. Rupert Grint Rupert Grint, who played Ron Weasley in eight Harry Potter films, says J.K. Rowling has become like a family member to him, although a troublesome one. Grint compared Rowling to an auntie during an interview. I don't necessarily agree with everything my auntie says, but she's still my auntie. It's a tricky one," Grint remarked. Grint subsequently emphasized in a March 2021 interview that he is still hugely thankful to the famed author, even if he disagrees with her viewpoints. Daniel Radcliffe Transgender women are women. 
The actor who played the main character in J.K. Rowling's fantasy series film adaptation stated in a June 2020 post for LGBTQ nonprofit group The Trevor Project. Daniel Radcliffe addressed Rowling's opinions regarding gender and sex, criticizing her ideas. He also said that it's evident that we need to do more to help transgender and non-binary persons rather than invalidating their identities and causing further suffering. Despite the fact that Rowling is unquestionably accountable for his life's path, Radcliffe feels compelled to say anything at this moment. Emma Watson Following Rowling's contentious statements, the actress who played Hermione Granger in the Harry Potter film series expressed her support for trans persons. Emma Watson tweeted in 2020, Trans individuals are who they say they are, and deserve to live their lives without being continuously questioned or told they aren't who they say they are. So, now that we know why J.K. Rowling isn't attending any of the Harry Potter events, unless Warner is keeping a brief appearance from Rowling a secret, I hope that this video has answered all of your speculations about why J.K. Rowling has not attended such an important event. The Harry Potter creator isn't expected to appear in any new content for the reunion, and given everything that's happened, it's understandable that she won't show up. Do tell us in the comments section what you think of her views. Do you consider it acceptable to make J.K. Rowling not attend any Harry Potter-related event? And lastly, if you liked the video, give it a big thumbs up and consider subscribing to our channel for more interesting hot news.